Zelophehad's um, daughters, the daughters of Zelophehad, son of Hepher, the son of Galid, the son of Mekir, Mekir, the son of Manasseh, belonged to the clans of Manasseh, son of Joseph. The names of the daughters were Mehla, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Tirzah. They approached the entrance to the tent of meeting and stood before Moses, Elizar the priest, the leaders, and the whole assembly, and said, Our father died in the desert. He was not among Korah's followers, who banded together against the Lord, but he died for his own sin and left no sons. Why should our father's name disappear from his clan because he had no son? Give us property among our father's relatives. So Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to him, what Zelophehad's daughters were saying is right. You must certainly give them property as an inheritance among their father's relatives and turn their father's inheritance over to them. This is an excellent um, idea. This is an excellent thing that Moses did. He took it straight to the Lord, the situation straight to the Lord. Do we do that as people, as a community? Do we do that as a family? When a situation arises, even if it's small or what we think is small, do we take it immediately to the Lord or do, do we just know what to do or think we know what to do or just make a decision on our own? That's always something to think about, meditate about, um, having your mind. Do I bring things to the Lord that that may need to be brought to the Lord? Even if you feel it's something that you can easily handle, do you stop for a moment and think, maybe I should take this to the Lord? And so what happened was he took the situation directly to the Lord and the Lord confirmed that these daughters were correct.